Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. We are in Retro Disneyland, and I'm loving every second of it. Also, I just had a lucky escape. I just hit record, and then I looked at my audio recording device, and it had detected the wrong microphone, and I'm like, hell no. Let's... Yeah, so instead of having my proper microphone, it was recording from my laptop's microphone, which... That's that's some shitty quality. We're not we're not gonna deal with that. We're gonna go for as best as I can. It's not perfect, but it's better. We are after Pete. And there are two Pete's actually, and Mickey is also around. So this is our next job. Wait! Shut up! You are futures on the light valley, so back off and give me the boat! What progress plan? After him! Okay, so we need that orb that he's stolen. Break the cage before Pete escapes. Okay, how? Oh, wrong button. Triangle button. There we go. There we go. Alright, triangle button. Solve all of our problems. That's it. Get all of them. Okay, so just before recording this, I actually went back and I watched the Steamboat Willy cartoon. Oh, looks like we got him. So, can we do something? Push, push, push. Grab on. Okay, we're on. Now what do we do? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's got a health bar. Gonna break this thing out. Pete is stunned. No, hang on, hang on. I've been tossed off. Get back on. No. So yeah, I watched the Steamboat Willie cartoon, so now I actually recognise a lot of what I'm looking at. It's only a short cartoon, it's on Disney's own official YouTube channel, so it's easy to watch. It's about six or seven minutes long, and there isn't really a story. Well, that is not a good look for Pete. <laughs> We're breaking this cage open. And there isn't really a story to speak of. Oh, made it back on. Oh, at the top. Yeah, time's running out. Oh shit, hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep hitting. No, no. Oh shit, running out of time. It's not gonna happen, is it? Ah. Yeah, there isn't really a story. Like, Mickey's on the wheel, but it's Pete's boat, so he gets chucked off. And then, after that, Mickey, he invites Minnie onto the boat. They have a bit of a party, and then he gets caught. And then he gets made to peel potatoes as punishment. That's the entire story. But it's not really about the story. It's more about showing off the animated medium. And the novelty that was synchronised sound with images. That's kind of what a lot of the early Disney cartoons were about. Have we got it? Got it! So it's, yeah, it's a fun cartoon. But we've just rescued the cornerstone. You'll pay for this. Donald, we'll come back for it later. Pete's heading for the doorway. Why? Why can't we not grab that? That's like super important, we need that. Oh, okay. But yeah, watching the old cartoon, it, it was quite fun, it's a cute little thing. And it does have some stuff that you just wouldn't see in like the, you just wouldn't see it in the modern day cartoons. So there's a bit where Pete, he's chewing tobacco and he's spitting out the tobacco. There's another bit where Mickey, he's kind of making some music, he steps on a cat and he's putting his tail in time with the music and it's like, yeah, he definitely wouldn't be doing that in if they animated that today. But where did Pete go? Oh, it's Pete versus Pete. Look at this. No! <laughs> You're still wet behind the ears. Then try us. Pete's not taking it. But 
Pete's totally changed. Oh, that's no good. Okay. We are getting beaten. Alright, can we we cannot do drive. Okay. So he's really strong. Is there something that other Pete can do to help us? Can he help us? Or is he just that tough? Because he's easily easily destroying us. That's it. Wait for that juggle. That works. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stay back and I'm going to wait for him to do something. Oh. Yeah, he seems to be more vulnerable when he's moving. Stationary. He's pretty sturdy. There we go. Yeah, wait for him to move. Nope. Oh. Nah. Oh. There, there, no. Oh, he's the tricky one. Oh man. But Steamboat Willow, you should. Oh, oh. He's getting super angry. Now, now, what is this? Okay, now we've got more hazards to dodge. Okay, good, 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 good. Get on that. Other Pete likes it. All right. Ah. Yeah, you should definitely check out the Steamboat Willie cartoon. It's it's really short. You can just watch it if you're on a having a quick break. And it, it just relies on a series of visual gags, what you can do with animation, how it synchronizes. Oh Other Pete, what are you doing? Yeah, how it synchronizes the music. And just little tricks and little fun things it can do. Alright, next. Okay, he's now a little bit easier to handle. Uh oh. Oh, Alright, okay, so we're going through each of the... There were the four frames earlier, and it seems to be going through each of those four frames. Okay, I need to heal. I could do the drive. Item? Okay, no. Pete, come here. There we go. That stunned him. Good. Next scene. Should we do this a bit quicker? Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, air combos. Air combos. Oh, he's got like a, a beam on. No. No. Revert. Get rid of that. So where are we anyway? Is this a beach? Oh no, it's the... It's the giant... We were giants. Tiny town. But this is pretty tough. Staying ah, staying airborne seems to be a good tactic for this fight. You kind of keep out of harm's way. Alright, this is on his final health bar. And I think this is the final scenario. Whoa. There we go. We are bouncing all over the place. Ah. Whoa, this is... <laughs> there he is. Really hard to keep track of what the hell's going on when they're all bouncing around like that. Pete. Other Pete. Good Pete. Do something. There's a temporary alliance. Oh my god. Oh my... Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay. Get closer. No. I haven't landed many hits on him at all. He's really hard to get a hold of. No. Yeah, there we go. No. A little bit closer. He's only got half a health bar left. Nope. Ah. Good. Good, good, good. That's it. A couple more combos like that and we are done. Other Pete is spinning out of all control. <laughs> Seriously, dude, are you okay? He landed, finally. Oh my god. We have to be close. We are so close. Got it. That was a tough old thing. Hopefully he'll just retreat and not come back. Right. <laughs> he summoned up his own door. Yeah, That's the I door. Know. 
Lock it. So this is the door that Merlin sent us to find. So is that mission accomplished? Is that what we came here to do? That's good though. Would somebody tell me what's been going on here? Who was that creep anyways? Hello? That creep was you from the future. No. Laura, that's a secret. Yeah, don't secret. say it. What kind of secret? Oh, never mind. Sorry I put you guys through all that trouble. <laughs> and to show you my appreciation, I'll let you pilot my steamboat. Best little craft on the river. My deckhand Mickey's late anyways. Nice. So yeah, that's, that's pretty closely a recreation from the cartoon. I'm gonna ring the bell. Oh, there's the triple one. <laughs> Got the triple steam... What are they called? I'm not even sure what they're called. Like the whistles on the top? In the cartoon, the, the front one doesn't go off. The other two have to remind it to sing. Anyway, we got the monochrome weapon. I haven't actually changed my weapon at all, have I? I should probably see to that. Yeah, we're going back. The temptation's too much for Donald to do something that he shouldn't, that will affect the future. That was fun. I really like it when uh, things, they kind of go back and pay their respects in quite nice ways. That was cool. Has it changed the future though? Or present day, so to speak. Yeah, there go the thorns. George, the lads have accomplished their mission! Hooray! Let's have an acorn feast to celebrate! <laughs> Welcome back! Because of your bravery, the castle is safe and protected again. Thank you so much for all you've done. Good, Good work, work, you guys! guys. Now, boys, I, I hope you didn't do anything reckless while you were there. <laughs> There's Daisy, wondering where she was. Daisy! Daisy, I'm back! Who? Daisy is Donald's very special sweetheart. Really? What? Donald, you forgot about our date again. You'd better have a good excuse this time. Why, Daisy, I'm... I know it's an important mission, but you could at least check in every once in a while. It has been over a year. Sure. <laughs> Donald? Just be a moment. Going somewhere? I trust that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Oh, another lock. That's a two for one. That's pretty cool actually. So yeah, we've done the retro world and now we're looking the present day. So even though we changed the future, everybody remembered it even though we changed it? I don't know. It's tricky, once you start dealing with time travel stories, you kind of have to ignore some rules and make up some other rules just to make it work. I'm not going to think too much about it. Go with it. See, we need Donald for just a little longer. How much longer? Um, About well, 25 hours. I'll be back soon, Daisy. Don't you worry, Queen Minnie. We'll return. Please tell the king that we're still looking for him. I will. See you soon. Think wisely. 
Okay, uh, I'll see you later then. That's the Disney castle complete, pretty much. Wisdom form with Donald's help. Okay, we've got a new drive command. So we had Valor form, which was as goofy, so Wisdom form is with Donald. We have a new trophy. Very good. Okay, we have options. Oh, a new episode was added. Okay, so what have we got? We have got... Ow. This looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. And this looks like... I'm not sure. What is that? So, yeah, we're going to have to unlock these paths. And then we might go back and double check on Hercules. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, we are done. I have unlocked both routes to both of the new worlds. So what have we got access to now? We have got... Oh, Atlantica. Okay. And over here is Port Royal, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. But I think it's time... Yeah, let's return to the Colosseum. There must be something new, otherwise why would it tell me a new chapter's been added? Yeah, what's down here? Well... Coast is clear. No sign of the nobodies or the heartless, for now anyway. What's that? The Underdrome. Fiends of the Underworld once clashed there, battle after battle, but Zeus didn't like the senses' violence, so he locked the place up. How did it get unlocked then? Some fool must have broken the seal. Oh, an id what an idiot that was. Aha. Uh -huh. Where are you going, Oron? We should catch up. If you need something to do, go help your friends. Okay, Oron's ghosted, literally. Oh, talk to me if you want to enter a tournament. His most, was it perniciousness, is feeling kind of charitable, so don't worry about dying or anything. You should consider yourself lucky. And if you win, you get lots of fabulous prizes. There's a bunch of tournaments, so make sure you check back often. Okay, it's a great way to spend some time. Which is what we're going to do today. Uh, yeah. Let's go for the, the Pain and Panic Cup. So yeah, this guy. Is he Pain or is he Panic? He looks like a Panic. Alright, let's do this one. If anything's going to kill me off, it's these horrible, horrible cars. They really cause me a lot of trouble in the black and white world. Is Donald been knocked out? Donald and Goofy are both gone. Okay, maybe this is too soon. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Also, I should probably change... Oh, fuck. No. No! Bad idea. Yeah, I should probably equip a new sword. Okay. Quit. That's not working out. New sword. I'm sure I have one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is like double my strength. Okay, so I guess maybe I could try one more time. Actually, I think I'm going to abandon this. I tried um, equipping some stuff. I had a look, and it says tournament level. Level 25. My level, level 20. I'm nowhere near what's required to handle that. Let's definitely go somewhere else. So, Pirates of the Caribbean will stay for another time. Let's check out Atlantica. Ariel and the Little Mermaid. From what I remember, it's quite different to how the... Uh, to how the first game played it. Before it was quite a large, fairly challenging maze of an area. Lots to do. This time it's a little bit different. Is Ariel. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could stay all day in the sun, just you and me, and I could be <sighs> part of your world.
Okay, so Ariel just some spat some mad bars and went and left that guy to it. So yeah, this follows half of the story. So in the first game, the girl rescued oh. me. Her voice. Yeah, Atlantica. In the first game, it kind of dealt with Ariel's struggle with home and going up against Ursula. So in this version, we're looking at more the romantic style of what happened in her film. So, okay. Back again. Sora, the... was it? Merboy? Merman? Old friends. Look at Flanders' face. What is going on there? Oh, hi there. Forget how to swim already? Kinda, I guess. Then you boys got to practice. You follow Flounder. He show you what to do. Come on, Sora. You can do it. Okay, move horizontally with the left stick, vertically with the right stick. Depending on the controls, hold L2 and use the right stick to move vertically. Oh, oh I don't know, whatever. Oh, that's not too bad. That feels pretty natural. That's fine. So yeah, in the first game, Atlantica was lots to fight, lots to do, lots of toing and throwing. And I think this area is fairly peaceful now. It's a different kind of request. Okay, Donald, I like the surface. We can move up and down as well. It takes some getting used to. No shit. All right, Goofy. If you want to talk to someone, choose a single creature to swim to. But let's go first person. Donald, come closer. Donald. Donald. There you are. And then here's Goofy. <laughs> okay, Ariel. Can we have a chat? Hello. You forgot how to swim. What have you been doing all this time? What? You're asleep? Must have been some nap. Yeah, we were kind of like, uh, yeah, and walking as well. We weren't just sleeping. You're flounder. Yeah, that's it. You're a quick learner. Okay, flocking on doesn't seem to work. Get closer to the target with X. Okay, fine. We can know how to swim. Cool, got it. Now then, what brings you three to this sea? Wow, they put his accent into the dialogue. Something going on? Kind of. But everything seems peaceful. Oh, everything's fine. As long as Daddy's in a good mood. Hey, we got us a concert very soon. Why don't you sing in the musical extravaganza? Oh, here it comes. Please say yes. Everyone's been acting strange lately. She might settle down and practice if you are there as well. Sounds fun. Let's give it a go. Alright, cool. Now then, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to do. Uh, okay, what's that? It's easy. Press X in tune with the song and gauge. Press X when the gauge is about to run out to get a higher score. Pressing it too quickly or not pressing it at all will result in a low score, which is bad. Oh, here it comes. I've been dreading this. All you got to do is feel the rhythm. Alright, hear the beat and put a little shake in it. Let's do it. Oh, this is the worst. Uh. See, easy. That's it. Okay, Donald, it's your turn. Do it like Sora, and then he can see what you got. Oh, this dancing, though. Oh. Excellent. Even better. Alright, cool. Okay, come on, Goofy. You do it as well. Oh, look at that dance movement. What is that even? Uh, fine. Good. Good. I'll take it. Okay, can we move on? This time, you got to dance with Ariel. Remember, don't miss a beat. Oh, I hate everything about this. <laughs> I don't care if it's good or excellent. I just, I just need to endure it. It's... Okay. Now we jam in with the bubbles. Alright, the rules are the same. You've got to stick to the beat. Okay. 
bubbles. Cool. Why do we have to have a tutorial? Can we not just get to it and get this awful section of the game over with, please? That's all there is to it. Well, I don't know. Anytime you want to sing in a music masterpiece, come see me. Okay, let's get this over with. Sebastian, please. Remember, feel the rhythm with your body. Okay, let's go. Chapter 1, Swim This Way. Get your cringe caps ready. Here we go. Break a fin. Alright, right, here goes nothing. Uh, press X. When yeah, we know. We just did it. It's fine. Look at the orchestra. What is that mess? That is such a mess of a line. I don't even care enough to try and get a good score. Oh. Does it even rhyme? Uh, I'm getting motion sickness. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. What kind of song is this? It's terrible. <laughs> Oh, they're just trying to shoehorn in that line. It's terrible. I hate everything. <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh, stop it. What about the bubbles? Just a touch. It won't take too much to pop, pop, pop. Oh, it just keeps on giving, don't it? Oh, here comes that drum solo. He's not even touching those drums. Three beats, that's all you get. What? Oh, I've, I've, get, I've got nothing left to say. Shalala. Can't make a splash if you're underwater. Swim along, just join in the song. A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. Wow, how about that for finny fun? Oh, it's clear, it's done, it's over. That was chapter one, which implies at least a chapter two. Sora, you were amazing. No, you don't. You really don't. Oh, sad face Ariel. Oh, here comes King Triton. Your Majesty, we have visitors. King Triton. I certainly hope there hasn't been a need to use that keyblade of yours. I wish there was. No, nope, everything's fine. Not a heartless in sight. Your Majesty, our guests, they want to sing in the musical. Well, that sounds like a splendid idea. Dear God, no. We may need your help after all. You see, I'm afraid Ariel's still infatuated with the human world. A busy rehearsal schedule might be just the thing she needs to stop thinking about life up on the surface. Isn't that manipulation? Isn't that bad? Okay, meanwhile, up on the surface. Swim along, just join in huh? the song. A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. That's the voice I heard. I'm sure of it. Hello? Where are you hiding? I know you're the girl who saved me. Please, uh, come out so I can thank you. Okay, 
Now what are we doing? Ariel. That girl's acting strange again. How do they been flitting around on the surface? Oh, the Sea King's gonna have my class for this. Come on, we gotta keep rehearsing. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like it. No, Ariel! I've got an idea, Sebastian. You do? This flander just got really large. I'm gonna <laughs> cheer Ariel up. Come on, follow me! Do I have to? Over here, what you got? A sunken ship. You see? Oh, this must be from the human world. I found it after that storm, and I bet it's from a shipwreck. Don't you think Ariel's gonna love it? But if the Sea King finds out about this... Yeah, it's better than going to the surface, right? Come on, help me move it. Okay, we're gonna rob this grave, and we're gonna bring her this um, thing for her to observe. What is Goofy doing? It's no use. Okay, you need magnet magic to move the statue. So, yeah, we that felt way longer than 12 minutes, but that is as far as we've come. Uh, so, yeah, this is a show signing off, and hopefully I'll see you next time, and we're gonna go to Port Royale.